Where is he? Uh, just tell him I called. Thank you. Alan? He's too big to hide behind your skirts, Tracy. Where is he? Who? Your kid. The one who can't get enough of family or my wife. What are you ranting about? Their affair. Whose affair? My wife and your son. <gasps> oh, gosh, you're demented. Tracy, don't act like you don't know what's going on. You probably put him up to it in the first place. <laughs> Thanks for the laugh, Alan. I needed a good laugh today. Ned and Monica. Ooh, sorry, he's got too much taste. Tracy, don't try to protect him. Alan, you're the one who needs protecting. Either you're nuts or it's wishful thinking. Are you looking for someone to take Monica off your hands? You're evading the issue. I get it. Who's she fooling around with this time? Your son! I gotta tell you, Alan, I really feel sorry for you. After all these years, you're still pointing that finger of yours, trying to blame somebody else because you can't hold on to your wife and she's not worth hanging on to. What is the point of even trying to talk to you, Tracy? You always hated her anyway. No. I hate what she does to you. And I'm not gonna let her do it to my son. Wait a minute. Let's discuss who's doing what to whom. Well, from what I gather, Monica is salivating over Ned, but he's too smart. In any case, I'm going to let you or your wife use my boy. He's not a boy. And if you want to see him live till his next birthday, you tell him to keep his hands off my wife. You got it? Why don't you tell your wife to keep her hands off my son? I thought I heard voices. What's going on? Darling, you and I need to have a little chat. Why? Tell me about your Aunt Monica. What are you, what are you trying to say? The other voice that you heard when you were in the shower was your Uncle Alan's. He came in here shouting all kinds of ridiculous accusations that you're having an affair with Monica. He actually said that? Now, <laughs> Alan's imagination has been known to run away with him when Monica's giving him problems. Rather than face his own inadequacies, he likes to blame other men for even looking at Monica as if she's a prize. Through the years, Monica has had more affairs than I can count. Can we drop this? You know, you're right. Alan's accusations are totally insulting, and I don't want you to think twice about them. <laughs> Knowing you, you were probably just being considerate and gracious and polite. I try. Well, leave it to Alan to put more into it than there really is. To think. <laughs> Alan thought you would even look at Monica, much less sleep with her. I'm going to get dressed. Darling, you do that. I'm sorry I even said anything. Let's, uh... Let's not mention it again. I know you're much too smart to get involved in any silly situation like that. Let's go out and have a nice lunch, all right? Okay. You know I can understand it. What? I can understand how women will fall for you. You're a lovely boy. <laughs>